Hey everybody, Dean of Games, Dean of DVD. Uh, today, a trade that I got, I want to talk about trades in general um, versus selling. Then I want to talk about this trade that I made and why I made it. Uh, I traded, if you know the game, Tyrants of the Underdark. Never played it. Nobody in my family seemed to have an interest in it. And as I mentioned it to some guys I play with in a board game group, they were eh, iffy on it. Um, so nobody was really wild about it. Either they didn't know about it and, and, and didn't have a fondness to play it. It didn't sound exciting enough. And then I myself thought it was kind of a dark theme. You know, the components were, I thought, kind of cheap for a, what was a $70 game. I didn't pay $70 for it. But I ended up trading it for this. And I'd played this before, and I'll tell you why I traded it in a minute. Brewcrafters is a game from 2014. So it's been around a while. Not out of print or anything. I don't think there's any danger of going out of print as far as I know. But I like the uh, the box. What I didn't like when I played it was it was a, like, like 30 bags that come with it. And and um, you can see there's 200 and some uh, beer tokens. And they're little tiny things. I'll show them to you in a minute. Uh, and they need to be kept by type. So there's maybe six of one type, six of another, and so on for, I think, 21 different types of beers. Maybe even 24. Um but it was a bunch of bags. You'd open up and just be baggies after baggies. It took forever to set up and break down. And <coughs> I didn't care for that much, although I liked the game. I liked, and I liked the theme of beer crafters. You're making, or brew crafters, you're making uh, beer. A number of different kinds, which require a number of different types, and so on. Uh, so that's why, that's why I like the idea of it. Why I traded for it was because I... Uh, got this. The game trays for it. Came with it. So here's the 200 and some odd things that I talked about for each beer. And they fit in there nicely. Otherwise, this each one of these would be in their own baggie. That's what they recommend anyway. Or at least all these types. This, these, these three rows are significant because they're different types. These are porters. These are ales. And these are like IPAs, that type of thing. So the rest of the thing is the same. There's only uh, two baggies. One is this one right here. All the players. You've got this separate, which is the like a beer, doesn't it? That's the first player thing. And then you've got this baggie, which just contains the cards that go with the game. Everything else is in trays. Uh, other than the, yeah, except for the boards. They go with it. But those just sit at the bottom. So you've got two things, identical trays like this. This holds the various components. Yeast, uh, malt, yeast, ales, whatever, the, whatever all the stuff is. Fruits. Uh, you've got some monies up here, some loan things. Again, these these two are exactly identical. I'm only going to show you one there. They stack on top of each other. Then you've got some components for your your beer house that you can make. A lot of different things there. I'm not going to go through all of them. And then finally, the bottom, which I'm not going to take out, are all the cards. But I will say this: they're all this size. There's about seven or eight of them, maybe ten of them. They're all thick cardboard. Okay, so that's why I traded. And, and so why would I trade for a game that uh, I played and enjoyed? Uh, but I think even from a retail standpoint, this, this is a lower because it because he included the this the game trade, which is about thirty dollars, and they're out of print. So to me, it was well worth it to get a game that's going to store nicely. Fit together, the box that closes. And then I have these, by the way. I think I've shown them before on a video, but these are the headbands you can get at the Dollar Tree store or Dollar General or I don't know which one I got at. One of those. I use two on this one. I don't know why I don't really need to, but I do. What if I if I need it for another game, I'll just take one of them off. But I know why, because I, I can put it on either side of the beer. <laughs> That's a, it's a cosmetic thing. It's really not necessary, but so the beer doesn't have anything covering it up. The, the, this does, but not the beer itself. Anyway, that keeps it shut, and that keeps it tight, and that's going anywhere. That's what I traded for, brew crafters. So let me talk about trading now versus uh, selling and buying. I, the two games I traded, I, I traded it for another guy too. It's on Board Game Geeks. And they were good trades. I mean, this Tyrants of the Underdark for this game we, we made us both happy. I'm sure we both now got rid of a game we didn't play or weren't going to play and got one we probably will play. So that's cool. Um the other trade I made was for Space Base. I picked up Space Base. And what did I trade him? Mm. Uh, I trade, oh, I traded him uh, 
can't think of the name of it. It was a red game. It was like it was like Crusaders Knights. Uh, they will be done or something. Crusaders, they will be done. I think that might be the name of it. Um, never played it again. Liked the look of it. Never played it. And so I picked up Space Base, which looks good. And price-wise, it's not too bad. Not too different. So Space Base sells for on Amazon right now for 25 bucks with free shipping. It cost me $23 to ship the game to Oregon from Pennsylvania. It wasn't even that heavy of a game. It was four pounds. Uh, the box it fit in was not even that big. But going all the way to Oregon cost me 23 and to ship the other one, to ship uh, Tyrants of the Underdark, which was bigger and heavier, but I only went to Iowa City. I'm sorry, Iowa. Iowa City, Iowa. That game was 17, I think, to ship. So 17 and 23. I think it came to 37 total. So maybe I'm my math's off a little bit. Uh, maybe it was 14 and 22. Or whatever it was. It came to $37 total to ship. Just to ship two games. What can you buy for $37? Well, I certainly could have bought I could have bought Space Base for $25 and had $13 left over toward this one. I think this one is now selling for like $37. So I could have sold pick one. Tyrants of the Underdog for like $25 bucks plus shipping uh, and been able to get both games instead of doing just getting one. So I think I've learned something, and that is selling a game and then buying it from Amazon or locally much, much, much better than trading. Even though I like the idea of the trade, in fact, I just put, I just offered another trade out there, and I hope they've turned me down because it's going it, to – I think the postal cost is too high. How Amazon does it free for what they do, I have no freaking idea. I don't know how they do it. Uh, obviously, they get a deal with the, with the post office because of how much is shipped out of there, and God bless them for it. But I can't find a good rate. Um, and I shipped ground. I shipped ground. I usually ship priority. I shipped ground on both those packages. And it was 23 and 14, let's say. Um, so not good. Not good at all. And I probably won't be doing any more trading. Now this is a big trade with a lot of stuff. When you're trading like four games and, and shipping them off. Maybe then it might be worth it. I don't know. Maybe not. I think I'm still better off selling. So that is my... Or unless it's local. Local is different. If I can drive to the person um, or go to like a convention or something and trade, wonderful. Otherwise, uh, I don't see trading as, as really a viable option for me because I don't want to spend that kind of money on just getting the game to the person. I don't want them to spend it the other way around. That's my thoughts. Uh, what do I think of this game? I've played it three or four times. Love the game. It's, it's a Euro game, which means it's very much about worker placement. Uh, but it has a heavy theme. It's all about making beer. So the beer, what you're making makes sense. Like here's an English cherry porter. So what does it take to make it? Well, it takes, um, I think I may not have this stuff right, but it takes a yeast, it takes hops, uh, something else, or a grain or something, and then it takes uh, cherries. That makes sense. Uh, and that's how it works. The, ingredient, the wooden ingredients, I'll show you the back too. There's wooden ingredients that come with it. You saw some inside. That's the that's the recipe I was showing you before. A certain amount of all those too. Obviously, a heavy amount of cherry because it's a cherry porter. Uh, and then you make you. So once you have the recipe for that, you you earn the recipe by giving the giving the right amount of stuff. Then you got to produce the beer, which means you put it through your factory and produce it and sell it. Actually, sell the beer. That's when you get a gold uh, gold coin that goes with each beer. Uh, and those all go toward victory points. The gold coins are worth so much, and then uh, making the beer is worth so much, and everything you produce and sell is worth so much. So, good game. I like it a lot. Um, not going to be my favorite game, but it's going to be one I play. Takes up a lot less room than Tyrants of the Underdark, and I'm looking forward to it. That's it. Good talking to you guys, and uh, I will see you soon. Take care.